Former President Trump's lawsuit against big tech companies is based on a unique legal theory that some say could change the nature of the Internet. Mark Meckler, an attorney and Parler's former interim CEO, spoke with NTD's Melina Weiskup to break down the case and what it could mean for all Americans facing big tech censorship. Trump's lawsuit against big tech is based on a legal theory that, if successful, could change the nature of the Internet. Trump's legal team argues that Facebook, Twitter and Google should be held to the same First Amendment legal standards as the federal government. The legal theory goes that these companies are essentially state actors in the way that they're acting. One, in that they're so large and powerful, they control such a swath of communication in the world that they have the same level of power as a government. Number two, is that they're acting in coordination, conjunction with, or at the behest or under threat by the government. And I think you see that in the ideology of the Democratic Party and the administration lining up with these companies perfectly. They haven't censored speech about Black Lives Matter protests or about defunding the police. And we know those have caused so much violence last summer. So do you think that this is something that the Trump legal team will use as a basis for their argument? Why or why not? And do you think that it's valid to bring this up in court? They will definitely use those. And, and I would say not as the basis of their legal argument, you know, when you go into a court, you're, you're essentially making two cases. You have the case that is the law case or the legal case. And that's when we're talking about state actor doctrine. Does that apply? Should it apply? Should it be extended? Those are all legal questions. And then you have factual questions which go to what are these companies actually doing? How are they actually behaving? Meckler says one of the most interesting aspects of this lawsuit is that Trump's attorneys filed it as a class action lawsuit rather than private meaning that his case represents all people who have been censored in the same way as former President Trump. Because a lot of those factual questions, they're going to go to what is the company actually doing? Who are they doing it to? How often did they do it? How did they do it? What were their standards for doing it? That's going to be part of the determination of whether the class is similarly situated. Meckler says the odds of Trump's legal team getting this far with their case is questionable. But the question of how to handle big tech and its enormous influence over society has been brewing in the judiciary and academia for quite a while. So Meckler says it's possible that Trump could find courts that would rule in favor or the case could make it up to the Supreme Court. Melina Weiskup, NTD News.